Old Sadie B, the very best you gotta travel across the land. But I'm happy here at pretty good, just out walking with my friends. So you can fly from coast to coast for all the antiques events. But my destiny is here in Tennessee. Pokedex in hand You run your laps Chasing licky tongues In Providence And you arc your throws For electabuzz And St. Louis But when you're lost In Boston Seeking pokey stops Still be spinning them up on Rocket Top. It's true. Well, you can race to catch them all and fall flat on your face. We'll hatch our toga peas here in Tennessee at our own predestined pace. You're making your life way too hard Clutching garlic, pounding pavement Down Ventura Boulevard We don't need Nitta Queens From down New Orleans I hate to rain on solo you but parades need a willing crew All those squirtles on St. Charles Saw you wandering and withdrew well, you can race to catch them all And fall flat on your face We'll hatch our toga peas here in Tennessee At our own predestined pace on hikes in Chattanooga. Well, you can race to catch them all and fall flat on your face. We'll hatch our toga peas here in Tennessee at our own predestined pace. Well, you can race to catch them all Fall flat on your face We'll hatch our toga peas Here in Tennessee At our own predestined pace One evening as the sun went down cooking coals were glowing 
down the path came a party hiking and they said folks we're all going we're yearning for a portal far away in a tavern full of shouting so join us friends and let's descend deep into under mountain deep into under mountain there run dungeons hot and cold where the monster surgeon pushes and the youngest runes are old where the mimics all lie waiting and the goblin where bats roost all the wisps and wasps and the mezzo loss the hidden pit where we'll all plummet deep into under mountain deep into under mountain all our blades will sing like choirs as our arrows strike like drum beats and our green flame pops and pyres our barbarian will stomp a brood as the rogues dance shadow play oh we're sworn to go at a great tempo we'll chant our spells as we now delve deep into under mountain deep into under mountain you'll always find new gear and your old mundane accoutrement can be handed down don't fear the magic items you'll attune and the artifacts you'll find there's armor with gems and weird potions and a propeller hat that lets you ascend deep into under mountain deep into under mountain the mad wizard stood gates so folks can open portals he left clues to activate he has a thing for puzzles and he likes to throw his voice we're going to delve to where he dwells to the lowest tower to seek his power deep into under mountain i'll see you there the lowest lair deep into under mountain I guess maybe we should start the show then. We're all geared up. Howdy, y'all. Joe Hill's here. Why is my camera not showing up? That's so weird. Hold on. My camera should be showing up here. Deactivate. Activate. Well, dang it. Okay, one second. 
Technical difficulties. Woo! Yay! Camera's showing up now. Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to a bonus stream. Do 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 do. We are here to play on the Hermitcraft server. Where's my hot bar? Good. That's. I feel comfier now. I'm just down here in slot eight, putting the hot in hot bar. Where's my chroma key though? Boom. Get that green screen backdrop there. Now we are ready to rock and roll. Welcome, one and all. If you've never seen a Joe Hill stream before, just so you know, the camera resets to slot 8 every day at 6 a.m. Punks of 20 Pennsylvania time, because in this house, we follow Groundhog Day rules. And then from there, it expands every time we hit a $20 tip and milestone at first. Tip and milestones eventually change so that we have time to do anything else in the stream if we have a big, big tip and stream. But yeah, tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube Super Chat. Today, we have a ton of measurement work to do on our big old Castle Hohenzollern uh, kind of model here. Zombie Cleo did a stream earlier today where she started working on the two courtyards and the space between them. What we also have been working on is I have been gathering some delicious, delicious potions that we're going to use as well. But what I think we... Oh, and we also got our No Wings Club. We got our No Wings Club thing over here. So we have a lot going on today. We're going to start recording this episode, this episode 11, um, from... We need to find some place with a good angle to look at Cleo's progress so far. And we also need to get, get a bunch more enderpearls. Hey, thank you, Dark Diaga 777 for tipping two, who says, got my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine yesterday. Hey, congratulations. Good for you. That puts us 18 away from the next face camera expansion milestone. Grant Rogers said, I finally caught one of those mystery pinball theater streams last night, Joe, and it was fun and hilarious. The Cleopatra 2525 theme is stuck in my head. Yeah, it'll do that, apparently. Uh, you and Bex both, it seems. Okay, so here we go. Well, running up here. Cold to Order says, is there a way to remove the overlay when you post the stream to YouTube? I don't post the stream to YouTube. I record segments of the stream on my local computer and then edit those on my editing computer and then upload the output of that to YouTube. So um, occasionally I do have to pull stuff from the VOD, like audio and stuff, if something happened that I wasn't expecting. But that's not really how we um, make YouTube episodes. We don't, we don't just post the stream directly to YouTube. So I think we're going to start here on top of our home for the beginning of the episode. So we got a cool little backdrop here. And we got this torch that's a, kind of in frame. That chimney is eating a lot of the shot. So let's see what we can do about that. Uh, okay. So let's move the torch down and back a little bit. Just for presentation's sake there. That's going to get the chimney more or less out of the shot as well. We got our tavern down there. We got our smithy down there. This is looking good to me. Okay. So, composition. You got to think about how your frame is going to look when you make a video. So, in order to make this recording not have my face on it, we're going to take the Logitech camera there off. Oh, wait. Before we do, though... We got our first tip via PayPal of the stream from Elisa for 20, who says, Happy Saturday. Hey, happy Saturday, Elisa. Also, I realized I forgot to turn the ring light on. There we go. So, if you've never seen a Joe Hill stream before, please direct your attention down here to slot 8 so that I can show you how the face camera works. Here we go. It's time to say, Howdy, y'all. Grow Hills here, expanding as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. dee 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 Alrighty. Boom. Turning that off. Start recording. Hermitcraft Season 8, Episode 11, Segment Alpha, Take 2, and Action. And we're going to bring it in from here. How do y'all... Joe Hill... Blah, blah, blah. It hurts my... I'm, I'm like, I was talking with a weird voice because I was looking straight up. Yeah, let's not bring it in from that far. 
Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, you can see behind me that Cleo has started work on laying in some of the heights between the different platforms in our Castle Hohenzollern model. Now, I want to get over there and I want to work right away, but you know what? First, I've got some things I gotta do. For example, as a member of the No Wings Club, I need to go and retrieve my No Wings Club medals that Iscal85 just left down there. However, I also realized if I'm going to be like out here, you know, doing all this work up there with no wings, I should probably have some potions of slow falling as well. Boom. Now, if I step off of a, uh, a structure or whatever, I'm not going to take fall damage. Ta-da. That'll really help with some of the work. Also, I kind of wanted to see how that would go with this trident. That's kind of nice. Hold on. Let's try that again. Woo! So there we are. Let's go ahead and claim our wood wings, our bronze wings, our silver wings, and our gold wings. And the No Wings Club even left a message. Very impressive. Although I should probably use, like, a No Wings Club voice. Very impressive? Yeah, I think I think that's that's pretty close to how the No Wings Club building talks. Do we have room for all these? Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and pop these off. I've actually got a place prepared. I had built a little place to put these by my bed in my bedroom, but I only had two slots there. And so I realized maybe we could use these as kind of some decorative kitsch in our drawn and courtier in here. So why don't we just head across here? Ooh. That, that feather fallen, that slow fallen is real nice, folks, I gotta say. I have made some other changes to the inn. I've improved the lighting in general, adding a bunch of lanterns up here. I have been working backstage here to get our brewing room underway. We were just sampling some of those feather falling potions or slow fallen potions, whatever you want to call them. I know how to slow fall them. But we also got some fire resistance now, some slow fallen some speed, water breathing. We are going to be not necessarily in business because I'm not selling these yet. I didn't plan to anyway, but we are going to be able to have all the potions we need as we go. I am just loving this concept of having the Castle Village buildings serve purposes, right? Tavern, what do we do there? Bruin and Inn up top, what do we do there? Give people a place to stay. But either way, here is where I was thinking of hanging those medals up. It's not super prominent, and when we earn the Iridescent Thousand Day Medal, whoops, which we are only 188 days away from, we'll definitely put that one in more of a visible place of honor. But yeah, I just like the idea of just slowly filling this whole restaurant tavern here with different things, like the Hermitcraft Stream Day chest and those medals. I might turn the frames invisible. Or, wait, maybe with the squid ink. Will that look better? Where is my squid ink um, one? I forgot that you can make these glow now. Whoops. Or can you? Maybe you can't. Maybe you can just spin things around. Dang it. Hold on. Do you have to combine the item frame? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna learn something here. Glowing item frames. Ooh, these already look fancier. Get our bronze and our wood metals back here. Let's compare these. Ooh, I think I think that's gonna look a little bit better. Yeah, we're gonna swap these out. And that's how you decorate a tavern, folks. Boom. Impulse SV joined the game. He knows a little bit about decorating, too. He actually just got his 1 million subscribers YouTube gold uh, plaque. So if you haven't followed Impulse SV, um, you better get over there quick before they start mailing him more plaques. Or so they start mailing him more plaques. He is hilarious. But okay. Yeah, I am loving how those look up there. And we'll leave those for now. What I really want to get going on, though, is I want to measure... I've got a paper craft model of the castle that I'm going to be measuring some walls against. 
but I need to figure out the exact scale that we're going to be working at. Now, Zombie Cleo, in creating the height differential between this courtyard and the next courtyard here, has, I believe, possibly determined... Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the height differential between this courtyard, this this platform up here, and this one, I can measure that on my model, because these are two things that I've already got built. So, I'm going to get my stainless steel ruler out, and I'm going to use millimeters for this because it's more precise. And it looks like we are about 18 or so millimeters from there to there on my model. Wait, what was Scar saying? Or Cub? Spectral arrows. Okay. So, if this is 18 millimeters on my model, how many blocks is it in Minecraft? One, two, three. If it's nine, I'll be super happy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> nine. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Okay, that means every two millimeters on my model is one block. That is way easier for conversion than, than I was expecting. Okay. So, the next thing that we need to do is we needed to start working on the outer walls here of the castle and where they meet the ground. And I've got the outer walls sheet, of, even though I haven't built that part of the model, I've got that and I can measure it. And I think it was about 31 millimeters. I'm going to double check that before I start building, but it was 31 millimeters from the lowest part of the wall to the hill or or like the, the part where the hill comes highest so that's definitely not 15 blocks down to there my kind of temporary hill dirt apron scaffold here is wrong we're gonna rip that out and we're gonna figure out where the walls actually go and we'll be using the incredible kind of block palette for the walls that cleo sorted out over back there you can kind of see it in the distance. Boom. So we'll be using this palette for our walls, and I think it's going to turn out great. Anyway, I'm going to start measuring some things, start placing some blocks, and hopefully I'll have something to show you soon. Time skip. Okay, we're going to hit stop recording. I feel like I'm going to cut some things out of that take, but we have, the, we have it working. It's easier to use metric because Minecraft is in metric. Um, is, is the short reason. Okay, um, so, once again, uh, we are 18 away from the next face camera expansion. Tips are always welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube super chat. Okay, so, Cleo wanted me to work on the outer walls. I kind of want to work on the castle, but she told me, Joe, yeah, I think we should work on the castle together, and... So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a Sunday morning bonus stream tomorrow. I've got Clash of the Creators in the afternoon, but we're going to do a, a bonus stream in the morning at what time? Let me check my message from Cleo. At 9 a.m. my time, we're going to do a bonus stream. So that's going to be 3 p.m. British Standard Time. Um, we're going to do a bonus stream where we're going to work on getting the rough walls of the castle in. And those are going to start kind of along here so this is like where the chapel is going to meet that courtyard which you can kind of actually see on the model right here if you're looking two, two, two. yeah so this is the paper model i was talking about it's a work in progress um so let me get my ruler and go check Okay, so I think page 14 has, it might be 15, I think page 14 though has the part of the walls that I actually need to measure to work on over here. So we're going to pull that page out. This is what it looks like. It's got the walls on it. I'm holding it up for you. Um, so 14.1 and 14.2 are going to tab together. And then that's going to be the point where the castle walls are kind of closest to the hill, maybe. 
Okay. Oh, in some places, actually, the castle walls aren't quite three centimeters apart from the ground. So, let me go ahead and pull up the instructions for my model so I can make sure. This would be easier to measure the 3D version so that I could be sure that I was, like, matching this up accurately. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, hold on. 14, 1 is going to be the back corner over here. Nope. Okay, yeah. So piece 14, 1 goes here. And at its closest point to the ground, the... This is kind of precision work here, folks. We're doing precision work. Okay. Okay, that's going to be 27 millimeters. So that's... Um, okay, hold on. Actually, it's closer to 28. So that's 14 blocks. One of those blocks is going to be the... Uh, go above the um, the level of the ground and because it's going to be like the top of the wall that is the lip so let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing this right okay we didn't actually bring the blocks that we're going to want okay so if we start here with 14 blocks, how close do we get? Oh, Scar just joined the game. Howdy, Scar. Welcome back. Okay. So... We are three blocks short. We need to make the ground three blocks higher there. Uh, Dark Diaga tips two, who says, Joe, Joe, he's our man. If he can't do it, too bad. That puts us 16 away from the next face camera expansion. Thank you, Dark Diaga. And hey, we just got a tip rolling in as well from Brian, who says, have to take the kids to the pool. Have a great stream. Well, thank you for stopping by and enjoying what you could with us, Brian. That puts us 11 away from the next face camera expansion. Appreciate you supporting the show. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring this, bring the ground up three blocks here. I did greet score. Okay. So, actually, though, this is kind of in a little bit of a depression here. So, I guess the first thing we should do is let's reclaim our dirt from before because it's not in the right place. Boom, 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 at all. We're going to have to have the, the dirt come up to here, actually. And that's actually, like, the highest it gets. It mostly stays lower. So this whole thing is way off. I massively miscalculated this. Um, oh, and that's going to be impossible to break now. Yay. Planning. The road is the right distance away. But it's not down as much lower as it could have been. So it's going to have to go up more like that. So... Let's just throw a few more of these up here so we can hop this way. Okay, hop in this down here. Okay. 
Boom. Got that sorted now. Now the other thing is the walls are supposed to come out some diagonally. So... Let's see, with a... With a 14 block, let's let's say that every five blocks it comes out one. Hunter Colony says, um, I'm glad castle construction is beginning for reals now. Yeah, me too. So that would mean that we actually need to have this here would be the where where that meets. Okay. So yeah, I am gonna start working on the outer castle walls today. We are just doing some math on some stuff. Whoops. I really think this road might technically need to be a little bit lower, but what we're going to run into with making the road very much lower is that we're going to start getting below sea level on it because it's really not much higher than sea level now. So we're just going to have to make do. Dang it. Yeah, the uh, the dark grass from the dark oak biome does look neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's eat some steak as well. Nom, 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 nom. And make sure that I'm not ignoring... Yep, tomorrow's going to be a busy streaming day, Mr. Hardluck. Going to have bonus stream in the morning with Cleo to do some castle work. Going to have Clash of the Creators in the afternoon. Then going to have the normal evening Hermitcraft stream at night. But since my daughter and I are stuck at home, and my daughter does enjoy watching Cleo and I interact, she can sit down in the living room and chill and watch the show. So... It'll be nice. But yeah, I we went to one of the city's testing pop-up sites today and got her her first of two tests. She's technically only required to get one, and that one's on, the, like, later next week. Um, but... I wanted to get one right away, too, just in case, for peace of mind to some degree. Because if she's already testing positive, then we need to take more stringent isolation steps than what we're doing now. Which is already pretty stringent, but... Um, okay, so having these come down five is going to be interesting here. Um, <laughs> okay. So I see how that cuts out on the model there. I feel like that part maybe still isn't right. Well, we'll come back to that because this back wall is definitely correct. Um. And we'll also need to harvest a bunch of materials. Mm, let's think. We we should put some of our brewing stuff back in the brewing area, though, for sure. Um, we can take the dirt we've got and actually start filling in some of this while we're here. Yep, stream time for Europe. Woo! Okay. We'll end up rounding this out some. And there's supposed to be a lot of trees at the base of the castle, too. Oops. Why did I do that higher? That was a mistake.
Okay, so let's go pick up the other dirt we dropped and place it. Do we leave any extra dirt? Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Yes, there it is. I found it. All two blocks of it. Not worth it. Okay. So back in here we go to the drawing courtier. Uh, let's see. Brewing stand stuff. We're going to immediately just throw in here. Valuables. Let's throw back in there. The squid ink. Oh, that's more brewing stand stuff. Redstone torches. Ooh, I don't know. We'll just throw those in there. We'll offset that by taking this out, though. Why do I have an extra bed? That's a mystery to me. That makes me worry that I picked up a bed by accident somewhere that broke. If I broke somebody's bed without meaning to, that's a problem. Welcome, Chug. Bonus stream indeed. So, whoops. The decor can go in here. Let's go ahead and place a bunch of this stuff. I'm kind of thinking this through at the moment, and I'm realizing I should probably... Go ahead and huh. might need to chop down a bunch of trees. Okay. So when I look at this cutout though, um Where is the part that that next bit is going to have to be? That's weird. Oh, maybe I misread this entirely. Okay, wait. 14.1 does attach to 14.2 there. Okay. And 14.2 bends around to there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is part of 14. Okay, so I'm doing this right basically over here. But then as we get further from there, the walls will go lower. Okay. Okay, I think I've got this figured out roughly in a way that is meaningful. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get more stuff. Um, also, if we can get some more phantom membranes, that would be great, too. But in the short term... I think we are going to go grab some dripstone to make sure that we've got this basically. Uh, I don't have enough torches over here, do I? Okay. So. Wow, it's really coming in. I didn't feel like I'd been online that long. So let's grab some of the dripstone blocks here. And maybe make some of our own as well. Plenty of rain, or not rain, plenty of dripstone. It looks like it's raining. My brain is just saying whatever I'm seeing. Woo, brains. Okay. 
So. What I'm actually realizing I was looking at is that... Okay, from back here. Love that trident. So here is where we need to go roughly 14 up. Um, and actually over there we need to go 15 up. So that dirt that we placed already is one too high. And so it'll get gradually lower over here. Um, so let's come ahead, uh, go ahead and come out here and figure out how low we need to go. So 14, whoops. Okay, and then, so that was the 14 already, and then what do we need, four more maybe? Whoops. Okay, so we actually needed five more, so we need to be, so the ground, so there, from here, one, two, two, three, four, five. And then we need to come out to here. So in theory, from there, we just need to place 14 blocks and we're gonna have our wall exactly where we want it to be. Let's see if that's true. Nope, not how we do it. Is it exactly one higher than the platform? If so, then we're good. It is exactly one higher than the platform. Success, okay. So, the next scaffolding related thing that we're working on is we're going to figure out what 14 blocks gets us in terms of our build palette here. Okay. So, 14 blocks. So that's going to get us up to all the way, basically. Okay, so we're going to have like three blocks or so of that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to come back over here to this thing, and we're going to know that at this distance here, we're going to want to block here, we're going to block here. Okay. So, then it's going to go down one when we get over here. So, we're actually going to pull this out and lower it. Okay. Okay. 
Oh no, I'm stuck in the pig pit. Okay. Throw some torches along there. Because this is not properly lit at all, basically. There are zombies back there. Yeah, this is not a desirable situation. There are a lot of zombies. Don't love it. Okay. So, this dirt level is now going to be roughly what we're shooting for. And then this becomes... Oh wait, wait, but that's that's exactly so we actually need to come back in two blocks from there. So if we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then if we've got to come out one block, two block, three blocks. So one, two, three, and then we'll hook this way. I need to chop down some of these trees as we go, too. Okay. Which other trees? That one is... Oh, wait, we still got a bunch of logs in here. That's no good. I need to remove those. Let's remove this too, just to get it to despawn. Other stuff. Okay. So, yeah, this will continue around here. Iceland Queen raiding with a party of five. Thank you so much, Iceland Queen. I appreciate it. If y'all have never seen the Joe Hills show before, well, howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. We are currently building a model of Castle Hohenzollern here on the Minecraft server known as Hermitcraft, where I play with my friends. Cub fan, Good Times with Scar are online right now, and Iskal85 is probably AFK in somewhere, harvesting sea lanterns for his buddies. Scar is just experiencing kinetic energy. You okay? So, we are working on the base of the outer walls of the castle here. But thank you for that ice cold raid, Iceland Queen. I hope you are having a wonderful day, morning, evening, night, no matter where you are in the world. Hope you are doing well. Okay, so we're going to bring this in a little bit here. But I think the way that that is going to kind of slope out, we're not really going to be able to do the entire indent very aggressively. Because we're going to start coming back out that way. And I'll show you what I mean about that shortly. One thing we're trying to do also is we are trying to harvest um, the uh, membranes from those phantoms. So I'm not going to be sleeping through the night very aggressively here. But if other people need to, then that's fine as well. You know, can I switch this over to jumping? I don't have any diamonds or whatever. Okay. Yeah, switching that beacon over to leaping might be helpful for the time being. Right now it's on regeneration, I think. And defense to stop me from taking too much extra damage from mobs blowing me up. Yeah, I got some phantom membranes from Asuma earlier, but he's not selling them. He just has a few extra. So he kind of got me started, and then I killed some more. I'm just trying to kill him as I go. Um, so let's see. In here, 
Which of the materials? Do I have any of the materials I need for this build? Smooth sandstone, cut sandstone, sand. Most of the materials should be somewhere else. Specifically in the um, smithy. But I'm grabbing what I can too from the other places. The palette for the castle build is actually there. So you can see we've got normal sandstone, cut sandstone, smooth sandstone, sand, birch, all that. Okay. So, let's go ahead here and grab, before we get anything else, let's get the birch. Because the birch is going to be one of the lowest to the ground ones. And let's grab a extra stuff box for the time being and put our extra stuff in there. Oh, I should have this in my offhand so I can chrome key my tank top better. Cleo blocked the beacon. Oh, well, that wasn't very helpful of her. Yeah, I thought that the frame was kind of the total bottom, but yeah, it's where the outer walls are. It's fine. We're working. This is this is part of collaborating is you learn from each other as you go. So we've got some sand here. Let's grab some sandstone. We're going to need the sandstone first. Actually, we also need to go get some mushrooms. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Dang it. Oh, that was not the fortune pick. That's fine. Cleo harvested a bunch of mushroom blocks the other day, but I kind of feel bad stealing too many of hers. Although I am working on a project with her, um, so it's not like it's the end of the world. So if we head back here behind our angry beaver building, what are we thinking for roof color? We are going to use the deep slate tile. Okay, so brown mushroom. There we go. Bamboo's coming in well. That's nice. Cold Pillow Zero says, Yeah, your face isn't taking up half the screen. Well, just give it time. We are currently 11 away from the next face camera expansion, and tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, yeah, according to the palette, some deep slate, mushroom, then we start throwing the birch on between one and three. So between one and two deep slate, between one and two mushrooms, then birch. Now the deep slate out here, is this actually three out? Did I do that right? Yeah, okay, good, I did. The deep slate out here is... It's going to be kind of hard to do some of these. Steel Pigeon, you have to sign a contract to become a, an affiliate. And if you don't like the terms of a contract, never sign it. It's that easy. It is very easy not to be a Twitch affiliate. Because it takes actively signing something in order to become one. And I refused. Okay, so... When we look at how this comes out here, so we are three blocks away now from that. So this, the, the, the weird thing is that this whole thing kind of comes to a point down there because let's just, just put it, I'm just going to put in some of these blocks. These, these are not necessarily supposed to actually be sandstone at the end, but okay. So if we've got one, whoops, one, two, three, four, four. Five, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, and then it comes out here. One, two, whoops, dang it. So one, two, three, four, five, and then it comes out again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. So that comes out that far from there, right? 
but we've also got this one coming out that far from here. Where we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, it comes out again. One, two, three, four, five. And then it should come out again here. One, two, three, whoops. Four, five. Okay, so so yeah, this corner here is gonna be kind of weird with how that convergence happens. That's actually almost a good reason maybe to slope these at like a one eighth instead of a one over instead of a one fifth or a slope of five, have the slope be eight maybe. Cleo had suggested these be gently sloping. But you know what? Let's let's maybe just do a whole segment here to get an idea of how a slope of five looks on just a normal part of the wall, right? So if we come up here. Do 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 do. Pickle War, welcome to your first Joe Hill stream. Gonna warn you, they get weird. They start weird, but then then they get weird too. So if you like weird, you'll enjoy it. The streams are usually a lot weirder than the episodes. Because these are where I experiment more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then that's where we come over. One, two, three, four, five, and then we would come across once more in order to go out one. Kind of missed a little bit there. Okay. So that looks pretty steep. And it does give it some texture. Having... I feel like, I feel like that works well. It's going to get a little bit weird on the parts where it comes out very far, like or like on this notch here. It's going to be a bit strange. But, you know, honestly, though, I think what it might be is on the notch, the interior parts of these walls come in at a steeper angle. So maybe we make the interior facing elements one eighth or, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. So the one-fifth slope will be for... Well, can we do that safely? I'm sure we'll figure it out. Hey, we just got a tip rolling in via PayPal from Sky. Um, if you used emoji or something in the note, it doesn't show up. There's just a single colon there. So maybe that was a smiley face. Who knows? But either way, thank you, Sky, for the 13. That puts us two past our next milestone. Woo! So here we go. Please direct your attention to the lower left because every time we hit one of those tipping milestones, it's time to expand. So thank you very much, Sky, for that. That's going to put us 18 away from the next tipping milestone. And tips are always welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube Super Chat. So... Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe maybe we're onto something here with this one fifth. Um, so at this point, then, let's go ahead and maybe at the edges here, kind of have this kind of come up a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Have it be a little lopsided, and we'll maybe have it. Be a little lopsided here too. Yep. 
We need phantoms. Yeah, there we go. Let's get those membranes. Dang it. Ugh. I fell in a pit. They can't get me in a pit. Which means I can't get them with my sword in a pit. I need phantom membranes. Need phantom membranes. I need phantom membranes. Need phantom membranes. Ooh. No, come on. Come back. Let me slice you. Let me slice you with this sword. Okay, sword. Dang it. There we go, phantom membrane. Get. Phantom membrane, get. One more. One more. Can we get it? Give you a dive. Woo! Hey, we hit him recently enough, we got it. Another five phantom membranes for those slow fallen potions that we love so much when we're doing our construction work here. Yay! Okay, so... Yeah, the way we've got this here, the first four blocks or so are going to be like that. Let's go ahead and reclaim these. And we're going to hop over. Not exactly how I wanted to do this. Let's, let's fill in some of this as well so we can just get that grass growing a little bit as we go. Great, great, great. Scaffold in here, just to get up to there. Okay. Phantom membranes, phantom membranes, do 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 do. Phantom membranes, phantom membranes. I will make brews. I'll make potions from you that let me fall slowly too. It is so true. Do do. Boom, boom, boom. Is there any more wood hiding in these? There we go. Get that knocked out. And here we go. Here he comes. Here comes Joe Hills. He builds things in Minecraft. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Welcome, Gonzo Thing. Glad you could join us this afternoon. I was going to say this evening because I like rhyming, but it's not evening yet. <laughs> womp womp. Going to be a nice, chill evening here. I made some really good taco fixings yesterday, and so we got some leftovers queued up for dinner tonight. Looking forward to that. Hope you all have something good planned for yourselves as well. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so this is looking good. Now the next thing I think was the birch, which was one to three. So we definitely want it to be three right here. That's weird camera stutter there. And we're going to kind of have it pop up to three occasionally, then down to two again. Maybe one occasionally. Just to kind of show the striations. Okay, this can't accidentally break anything else when I'm stripping it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The bark. It'll look a lot better when it's properly cleaned up there. I kind of want to get more dirt. This, uh, the lack of dirt around the base here is causing me to take some falls that I could really easily avoid. Also, I feel like... 
Am I getting... Is there something running in the background or something? Windows module installer worker. Uh, search online. What the heck is that? Well, I don't need it running now. If I kill that, is that going to kill the stream? End task. Well, whatever. We'll power through. Okay. So, from there, we can kind of come this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What I didn't do was after the fourth block, I really should have been bringing this inward, actually. Silly me. I should have been doing something more like this. And then... Oh, dang it. Because these are directional. I'm going to have to put a block below each of these. Okay. That'll that'll make more sense. It'll look good. It'll look good when it's done. Okay. Cool, cool. Day is going well. Thank you for asking, Kim Bob. We'll run this a little lower here for a little bit, and then boom. Just kind of run through with the axe, clean that up. Okay, so we're going to push those three back as well. Dark oak log, we don't need. <sighs> Birch log, okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to use blocks we don't necessarily need a lot of right now. Okay, this, this lack of dirt here is definitely getting annoying. So I'm going to run and put some of the dripstone away and get dirt. Ooh, grilled salmon salad. Sound good, Queen Dork Lady. Enjoy. Okay. I did find my NWC medals. Thank you for asking. Okay. And according to OBS, we've been live for an hour and nine minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Whew. I'm glad your sense of taste came back, Darth. That's excellent. I technically could use the bark blocks for that, but I'm not too concerned about it immediately. Um, okay, so let's free ourselves up to grab a bunch more birch and a bunch of dirt um, in our random box here. We'll go ahead and unload anything else that we don't need imminently. You know, do we really need the silk touch pick? I feel like we don't. Oh, actually, maybe we do need the silk touch pick for picking up mushroom parts. I don't know. And 
let's eat some steak. Okay, and we're gonna grab some more of the sandstone, some more of the smooth sandstone. Okay, some actual just straight up sand. And then offset it with more dirt. That should hold us over for now. Yeah, so this is one of those things where, like, just getting the dirt in is going to make everything easier. Scar left the game. If he comes back, we got to greet him again, so remind me. Ooh, it's almost time to fight more of those uh, flying things, so that'll be good. Flying things, they got wings and they're all right. Dang it. Probably don't want to be too close to the wilderness here because that's a good way to get creepered rather than to get phantomed. We, we need to be out from under cover. We need clear sky above us and we need plenty of light so we're not just attracting other mobs. Come at me, phantoms. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I'm here to use your flesh to make my potions. Like I do. Everybody's talking about making potions from your flesh. Everybody's gonna make potions today. Everybody's talking about making potions from your flesh. Phantoms, come and play. Got my Lutin sword ready. Got my Lutin sword ready. Okay, fine. It's fine. Do 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 do. I kind of feel like I could just go along here and get the most important thing I'm doing. The big thing is I want to be able to hop. I'm on fire. Boo. But I got some iron. So, yay? I don't know. We'll make it work. Okay. So, when we look at our build palette thing over there, we've got the birch, then we've got sandstone for two to four. Okay. Let's go ahead and just kind of keep working on this real quick. Okay. Joe picks a fight with the sky. I do. Don't you? Dang it. Yep, Cleo and I, if we had coordinated this better, I would have uh, started right after her, but I had to go get my daughter COVID tested, and, well, I kind of needed that. Not not severely needed it, but it would have been nice to have that scaffold. That's fine. Oh, well. Um. So, if we've already got one here, so we're going to have one there, we're going to have two here. Okay. Okay. So what I've been doing is kind of generally having this. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring this over here with dirt. So how tall are these? These are all one tall. Some of these are too. Okay, so that's where the switchover point is there. And 
then we'll have this be one again. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the testing went well, very quick. Uh, we were in and out of there very quickly. Very efficient setup. I was very pleased. I get annoyed by inefficiency when I'm not stressed out. And so when I get somewhere that I expect to be stressed out and it just goes fine, I'm like, thank you. Thank you for making this easier. So, yeah, we should get the results in the next 24 to 48 hours, they said. Okay. But my daughter's not showing any symptoms. She was just sitting home from school because she was exposed to somebody else who was tested positive. So hopefully it's just an abundance of precaution thing and nothing to really worry about, but got to be ready. I've been, I took care of all the logistical stuff I needed to worry about yesterday. So everything is good here on the whole. So the next layer up here is cut sandstone. Do I have a lot of that? I don't think I do. How do you make cut sandstone? Okay. Luckily, it looks like you can make it the same efficiency that you would get out of a uh, thing. And that seems to be one to, th one to four as well. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait, wait, wait. At what point do we need to come in one? Here was where we need to come in one. Okay. Okay. I get it. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, because that's one, two, three, four, five. So the cut sandstone would start here. These ones need to come in a little bit. Whoops. Whoops. And this cut sandstone can come up here. So we got a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Where does the actual bit end there? I think that I did the math wrong on this. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, yeah, those need to go. Do I have any plans for Hermitcraft Season 20? No. That's really far out, man. Whoa, that's far out. Okay. So we need to bring that in here, too. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then according to the thing over there, what's after that? Just actual sand, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I can't see it now from here.
Sand is between one and four blocks tall. Okay. I'm realizing I should probably hide this back here also. And let's use some more of this dirt. So. Dang it. Not doing great at placing blocks, which is like the most important part of the game, as they say, but you know, that's fine. So, in the distance, we're hoping this still looks good. Um, but there will also be some low trees and stuff planted kind of nearby, I think. Some shrubs, that sort of thing. Let's clear out some of these taller trees, though. Okay, so we're going to end a pearl up there. Actually, wait, let's get the dirt and deal with some of this part here. Yeah, this is going to be a whole separate thing, getting this all in place properly. Dang it. So we used all the dirt we brought, which is a good start. Let's grab these extra torches here and start placing some of those to discourage mobs from spawning while we fight phantoms. Probably eat before we fight phantoms, just as a quick side note. Any phantoms here ready to attack? Any phantoms want to try to strike my back? I'm not looking at you. It's a good time to sneak down and attack me, phantoms. I don't see you at all. You could totally bother me, phantoms, wow. I'm an exposed target now. Oh, there they are. Four of them, wow. Did I get a single hit in? No. Boom, got one. Dang it, let's replace that torch. Y'all gonna swoop down again? He's gonna die burning. I'm not gonna drop anything if I don't hit them, if I don't hit them recently after they die, before they die. 
Uh, that was that then. Um, let's go check out our beacon location. So I think Cleo is blocking the sky with a something. Is that it? Nope. It's one off. Oh, whoops. Probably should have remembered which one I broke. I think it was this one. So if that's there, now I'm directly under the beacon, or directly over the beacon. Oop. Does that have a view of the sky? Woo! It's always something. It's always something, you know? Okay. So let's go ahead and grab these. We're going to reclaim these scaffolds. Yeah, I like the new glasses. Thank you for asking, Steven. And if y'all want to see them better, we are only 18 away from the next face camera expansion. Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube super chat. Oh, I missed Scar rejoining the game earlier. I have to do better. He deserves it. So, I think the way we're going to do these is we're going to go out three from those, but we're going to only go back one on the diagonal. So if I can sort this out right, it would be like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. So that wall would start here, but then would come down to, it would converge on that. Oh, dang it. But like this wall would come out three let, let me make sure I got this right. So that's one, two, three. But it would come down diagonally to there. So then those would also come diagonally to there. Okay, hey, I think this is going to work. It's going to work, y'all. Okay. And how long are these segments here? Looks like three blocks long. So that would just be one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Assuming these are equally three blocks. Yeah, that seems to be a one-third slope for a while. So then when we get to here and we look up, that next one's also three. Okay. And then it goes to four. So the do we have any filler blocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can fill with this. One, two, three. Okay, and then that that one there is four, I think. Wait, nope, that one's three again. That one's four, okay. Now, the thing to keep in mind, too, though, is that this part here is actually lower. It gets lower at some point. And I think we actually probably want to do that about here. And so then we get to the part that has now four, if I'm doing this remotely correctly. Okay. 
I think that this will be okay. I might not be correct, but I think that this will work. Uh, no, I don't have any pets, Pickle War Tooth. I am a single parent who is self-employed trying to get a business off the ground. Uh, more responsibility would not be wise for me at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty near my limit for responsibility. Um, and I, yeah, pet ownership is something that I think is, you know, pretty serious. You got to really be able to commit to it. And I'm just not at a stage in my life where I can take on more. Um, okay. So, yeah, this coming out to here is probably going to work. I think we got this sorted enough. get out the birch now so this can kind of go up and down as we go through um, still trying to sort out how some of this some of these slopes are going to work as they converge um, that is the five mark there okay Wait, did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four, five. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, we'll place the blocks and see how it comes out. That's, that's, you're right. That's the way to do it. Okay. So. These, I think, actually need to go. These, these were part of the temporary planning experimentation wall. So then one, two, three, four, that's five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If we want though, we can place a few extra of these here. At least the way Cleo had it laid out, it looks like that's a viable option. that there like quite like that but yeah um, so if this was one two, whoops two three four Welcome, Josh Podge. So, so the next thing over top of these would be the cut sandstone. It 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 goes to the gym like all the time, and that is gonna max out, or that's gonna back into this some. We have a couple cut sandstone there. Ooh, several here maybe, up to three even. So two here, maybe three here. We can make more cut sandstone uh, out of normal sandstone as we go. Don't want to make, don't want to overproduce it. Oops. Let's pick this stuff up before it gets too dark. Then let's ender pearl up into our platform so we can fight some phantoms. Phantom fight! Phantom combat! Do -do 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 okay. So this is one, two, three. Then we 
can start coming in with the sand here. Where are you at, Phantoms? Need those membranes. Insane for your membranes. Insane for your brains. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of snuck up on me there. We usually don't have long to hunt these because usually somebody else will go to sleep like that. Dang it. We need to get our kills in. Did we get any? Oh, there's one. Hey, Castan Eagles just tipped 20. Thank you, Castan Eagles, who says, Hey, Joe, got a bigger paycheck than expected yesterday. So here is a bit of that. Woo, I appreciate it, Castan. That is going to put us $2 past our next face camera expansion milestone. So here we go. It's time to expand Joe. Do, 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 do. And tips are always welcome, of course, via paypal.me slash Hills. Now that we are 18 away from the next milestone because you pushed us two over. Thank you again, Caston Eagles. Thank you for supporting the arts and my work in particular. Okay, so when we look at Cleo's wall, Hazel Lynn is here. Welcome, Hazel Lynn. Glad you could join us. If y'all haven't checked out Hazel Lynn, she's playing over there on that Black Minecraft SMP server. Strongly recommend it. I have been lurking there while doing editing tasks and other busy work. Cause like that's the that's the thing about being a self-employed artist is you don't get to just make art. You also gotta be like, oh, gotta gotta send my contractors their pay. Gotta do a bunch of spreadsheets. You know, like as fun as it is to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a rebel artist and I'm never gonna participate in anybody else's like working world. I gotta say, all the stuff I learned in my day jobs, even if I didn't like those day jobs, like I know a lot about spreadsheets. I know a lot about keeping track of things and making sure that freelancers get paid and stuff like that. So, you know, you might, you might be able to learn something, even if you're not doing what you're dreaming of here and there by doing work that's uh, hopefully at least somewhat worth doing. But, like, I always went out of my way to try and work for, like, ethical employers or who either were nonprofits or tried to work with nonprofits. Not a good way to save up for starting your own business as an artist. I'm going to lots of lots of things here. But yeah, anyway, that's a roundabout way of saying while I've been doing a lot of that busy background work, I have been watching Hazel Lynn's stream and she is doing great there. Let me go ahead and post a link to that. Hazel Lynn says, "How long do you think it'll take to work on the or to complete the entire castle?" Um honestly, no idea. Because, like, the thing is, a project like this is kind of fractal. Whoops, I typed twitch.tv slash Joe Hills out of muscle memory. But, um, yeah, so when I, um, when I work on a project like this, you know, it's kind of fractal where you, you, you rough in things. Like, we roughed in the overall layout there. And then, you know, you now we're roughing in the outer walls. And then as you get the walls roughed in... It's like, okay, now it's time to do detail work on the walls. And now it's time to do detail work on the courtyard. And so I kind of think um, it'll probably take us the... And when we get to the end of the season, however long that is, like, this is a project that will expand to fill the shape of its container. You know? <laughs> like, I could spend an indefinite amount of time improving on something like this. Um, but we're hoping to get, like something to show in terms of like the walls and stuff like that in the next week but we 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 might be able to get the buildings roughed in at least like how tall they are and things like that kind of some rough structures uh tomorrow but like that's just gonna be like here are some guides like this is where the roof will start this is where the window will go we'll come back with the actual blocks and get it all perfect uh, Stefan says, Joe, I'm new to your channel. Is there any specific reason you keep building German attractions like Brandenburg Gate or the castle this season? Um, well, Brandenburg Gate I built last season because we needed something in Europe. So I did a thing where I had new, I celebrated New Year's Eve in several different time zones and I needed one attraction to do the fireworks show for every time zone. So in London, we had the parliament. I built, 
Uh, but basically, yeah, so the reason we had something in Germany was because that was where I was doing the New Year's Eve thing for, for that time zone. That was part of a series of, like, six builds. Um, and this castle we chose because the roof looks like deep slate tile. And deep slate tile is one of the new blocks this season. Um, but, yeah. So that is that. Okay. But, like, usually I build stuff out of fantasy books mostly. Not particular countries. But, like, my Tower of... Uh, let's see. My Tower of Hercules Lighthouse last season was from Spain. My Suez Canal build, Egypt, obviously. Um, so, I mean... Yeah, I try to mix it up and just do stuff from all over the place. It's just two two things two seasons in a row we happened to have that. Um okay. So I think we're gonna put some more birch in here just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And this particular divot where the walls come in is gonna look a little strange no matter how we try to do it. I kind of feel like the, the best approach is going to be to work on the diagonal part. If I if I work on getting this diagonal right first and then worry about where that diagonal meets this corner later, it should smooth out on the whole is, is my rough thought process there. Um, so that's one, two, th three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. Is that right? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where that is going to go in general. Piper says, Joe's glasses. Ooh. Yeah, thank you for noticing. I'm pretty happy with them. If you can't tell, they're actually chromaing out, and you can see what's behind me in the game. Let's see. Um, so when we get to this part here, then we're switching over to that. Uh, yeah. Getting getting this to work is going to be interesting. So I think let's let's say that we go up one two three four here, and then after that we switch to one cut sandstone. Oh, but this is where it gets weird. So I think we actually. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so right now we're here. Okay, just give me a second. I'm thinking through this, y'all. So I think we actually need to bring this over like that at this point. Hold on. And then bring it in. Um, so we have up to four cut sandstone. Right now we don't have any, so one, two, three, four. But wait, that that didn't I didn't bring that back over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So at this level, it comes in one as well. So that's three of those, and then we're gonna switch over to sand, sand, and then smooth sandstone. Okay. Have I thought about using the custom resource thing to use to have chroma glasses in game? Um, no, not really, because I think they would contrast with my in game hair too much. Also, I've tried glasses on a skin before, and they they're they dominate the face a little bit too much for my tastes. 
Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have that pull over one there. So if that pulls over one there, then I'm just trying to think this through. That goes here and then comes Hmm. Okay, so sorry, I'm like I'm deep in thought. This is this is more this is one of the reasons this is a bonus stream because I was kind of like I'm going to need a lot of time to kind of think out how I'm going to do this. But the thing is that even though this might not be the most entertaining thing for y'all to watch, having you here actually is a huge benefit because y'all will tell me if I'm doing something stupid, right? Like if I'm really messing up my math, usually there's at least one person who will instinctively be like, uh, whoa, Joe, maybe, maybe ch check that real quick. Um, so yeah, I appreciate y'all's patience with me while I do whatever gestures wildly all this is and do we have our phantoms boom there we go dang it oh, i fell off the thing they're not going to be able to get me if i don't get back out with the exposed sky i'm trying to collect phantom membranes so i haven't been sleeping we got boom no i missed whoa got that one how many we got? We got four. Dang it. Missed. Missed. Dang it. My combat skills are not great here, clearly. That one's trying to come up for us. Whoa. Okay. How did I miss that one? Okay, where you at? So during the day, I do complex geometric math, and then at night, I fight off flying demons with a sword that never seems to land a blow. Oh, this is the bad place. <laughs> if you dodge them and they don't hit anything like a wall, they have zero momentum and are easy to hit. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like there's some lag, probably from the AFK crew would be my guess but the thing is for most of what i'm doing the lag isn't that bad so i'm not gonna kick anybody yeah the, the phantom fights are a nice interruption for the wall building is there still one down here no I, oh ooh. oh come back come back so i can hit you come back so i can hit you with my sword i can't reach him Try the sword offhand. Looting still applies, says Judd Otto. And hit them with the logs? I don't... I'm not sure that that's a concretely better plan. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. May it be rewarded. Uh, okay, so let's combine some of this sandstone to get more cut sandstone. Because clearly we're going to need some of that. Okay, so trying to follow the block palette here. We can have up to four in a row of these before we break the palette. And, oh, uh, actually, we, we need to bring that one in some, I think. Yeah. So this is going to also come in at a diagonal a little bit, too. And we can actually soften these corners a bit, now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on. No. Don't. Why would I want that? Don't do that. Um, now that's gone. Um, yeah, that was a terrible idea, and I completely regret it. Nope. No. Ah. How do I fix this? Yeah, we're just going to put the new ones in. Okay. Put 
put flame two and looting on the sword. Uh, we've got looting. We just don't have flame two. But that probably is a good suggestion there. Um, let's get these logs out of our offhand because they are not doing me any favors. Somebody says, Joe can kick other hermits. Well, any hermit can kick other hermits. We, we have it set up so that if um, people are AFKing and it's wrecking somebody's episode, um, we can we can kick each other off the server. But you're only really supposed to do it if it's like messing up your recording. It's not to be taken lightly. And this stuff is not a rush job by any means. Okay. So, two, three. So, and then that comes in there. Oh, okay, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have this working. The the goal is, Cleo and I are gonna stream together in uh, tomorrow morning at like nine a.m. And I just want to have enough of this wall in that she can get a sense of how we're doing it and tell me if I've screwed up somehow in a way that's hard to come back from. Okay, so this, we're gonna save the dark. Okay, so we're using the dark oak for like, um, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, this is gonna work, wait, 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 is, is it? Is this gonna work? This should maybe be out here one, but then how is that gonna connect to that? Okay. Okay, let me think about this. So this diagonal here is really messing me up. Okay. William Comartin says, no one, uh, I, heard, I thought I heard Tango say no one has OP on the server anymore to prevent mistakes. Well, yeah, our main accounts don't have OP, but, like, there are other ways that you can kick people from servers besides just, like, typing slash, see, I can't even autocomplete slash kick. You can route commands. You can, I don't know, write a script. Whatever you want. You can find a way to kick people off the server. Okay, uh, let's see. It is 20 minutes to 5. Wait, did I? Did I miss this tip? Hold on, let's see. 20 plus 5. Azathoth, did you send a tip in that I didn't? I don't. It says I read this, but I don't think I did. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and I'm, I don't think I did. So anyway, sorry, Azathoth. For some reason, this was marked as already read. Um, yay, systems. They fail sometimes. So Azathoth tips 11. And says, I haven't caught a stream in a while, but let's embiggen the smallest Joe. Well, thank you so much. That's going to put us uh, eight away from the next expansion. And tips are welcome via... Pit Whoops, that's Hazel Lynn's thing. You are welcome to watch Hazel Lynn on Twitch as well. But tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Hills and YouTube Super Chat. Apologies, uh, apologies to Ozathoth for missing that. Okay, so... Yeah, copy and paste is a many-edged sword. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is actually supposed to go... So, let's see. From here, let's say that comes out like that. Uh, up to... 
that's wait one two three four five that's cute one two three four five six okay this isn't coming diagonally over and in enough is is the problem i think so this actually needs to go up higher on part of this part bizarrely I think Weird angles in Minecraft are not my strong suit, y'all. It needs to come up until here, I think. Yes. And then it needs to not go there, but it does need to go in here. Wait, does it? No, that comes down lower from there. eventually somehow there's a mechanism by which this is going to work haven't determined it yet because math here's what we'll do we'll get the rough walls in <laughs> we'll worry about all the rest later okay So this needs to come out to here then. And then this needs to come out to here. So these somehow became, oh, they become four wide because, duh, okay. I screwed this up. Okay. I'm learning. We, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get through this, y'all. Okay. So one of the things I screwed up is that these on the ground here should be four wide because the walls that hug these are going to be four wide and then they're going to come out. And I absolutely failed to do that. Just on a fundamental level, that is a big F in chat there for understanding how walls work. Um, because the walls are bigger than the platform that they surround. This is this is why we're sorting this out on our own without Cleo here, who I'm cooperating with on this or collaborating with on this castle, because this gives me a chance to look smart later when we're in the same place because I've already solved all of this fun air quotes, fun math stuff. How does this go back so far? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, it's time to fight phantoms again. though. <laughs> Yay, everybody's favorite part. Shrieking. It begins. Okay, so let's stand still and then wait to dodge them at the last minute this time. Phantoms do to do 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 to do any phantoms do to do 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 to do any phantoms do to do 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 to do any phantoms in the sky do to do do no come on come on where you at phantoms I'm just a boy standing on stone could I be any more obvious I am just here standing alone swoop down for my face dang it i missed okay there's definitely a timing issue yeah the lag is definitely problematic here there we go we got one one hit in and it was a crit there we go yeah five phantom membranes glad that wasn't a creeper Okay, in terms of the question of, like, how many phantom membranes do we need? I think at this point we're up to, like, 20. So, I'm feeling kind of like maybe we do actually have enough now. We can start sleeping again. Because, like, the thing is that when we're doing some of the build, the, the tallest towers and stuff, I'm going to want slow fallen potions. So, yeah, I mostly just wanted to be able to make slow fallen potions. 
And we have enough now that we should be in business for a while on those. So let's drop that off uh, over here, I guess. Yeah, there's 10. I've already made a lot of slow falling potions, though. So, yeah. Okay. We'll lay our head down and dream. We still haven't decorated this bedroom here, the tavern keeper's bedroom, in our drawn and courtier tavern. Now that we're uh, not Russian, yeah, this is a tavern. We've got five different tables for guests. We have a stage for live performances. The bar is back there. We've got the eight guest rooms up top, which we can go visit. And they're each connected to an internal suite, like a little hangout area. I kind of need to adjust this. That's not ideal. Shouldn't all be around a torch, but yeah. Our brewing stands and our kitchen are down here. And I'm kind of, this is a work in progress. It's not done. Okay, but yeah. Now that we've got that knocked out, oop. Oh yeah, this is, for those of you asking about my No Wings Club medals, we've got those four hung up there. And um, currently I am on, where's that button? I'm on day 822 out of a thousand toward the final medal. Of not wearing an Elytra for a thousand in game days is the target of that objective. Um, other things I'm realizing. We should run back to the smithy and grab more dirt. We need more dirt. That is going to be a must-have. So, more dirt. Let's also get out our random stuff box and put some of this random stuff in there to make room for more and more dirt. I kind of want to put the dark oak logs away and just use dirt for the scaffolding. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to grab more food from the kitchen as well. Whoops, why am I... Empty chest. No. We'll leave one space open to grab food from the kitchen. Isuma does play a lot. <laughs> he doesn't have a kid, though. It's a lot easier. Good evening, Rex. Welcome to the tail end of the stream. I'm going to go make dinner soon. I made some uh, taco meat yesterday, so we're going to have leftovers of that, which really speeds up prep for tonight's dinner. Uh, oh, yeah, food. I was like, there's some reason I'm going to the tavern. That's where the kitchen is. Do, 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 do. Okay. And let's grab 16 baked potatoes. No, let's grab more steak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More steak. Nom, 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 nom. Now, just because I'm streaming now does not mean I'm not streaming at my normal 9 p.m. Central Time. This is a b -b 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 bonus stream. So y'all who normally join me for the evening stream are, of course, welcome. I look forward to seeing you there, as always. Okay, so let's figure out how the math on this part is going to work. So I think... I needed to pull that out four, but if I need to pull all of these out four, oh boy. Oh, this is going to get confusing. I think, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So they need to cut diagonally this way. So I need to add... For the lower part, I need to add blocks on this side. And then for the upper part, I need to add blocks on that side. So it's going to be kind of tilted across is how the, the slant will work. Okay, and that's six blocks there. Six, five, four. Yeah, this is this is going to work, I think. You know what? Let's look at this in the distance. Let's uh, go over there to the kind of uh, edge of the forest here. Can you see from this little trail here at the base of the castle? Not really. Yeah. Okay, let's go up in the trees then. Hey, welcome, Winnie T. Ford. Glad you could join us this evening. 
we are just doing some work on this. Um, yeah, I think the outer walls are coming along well, and they look pretty good. In, like, this is a little bit further in the distance maybe than I wanted to show them from, but I had to... I wanted to see them from this road here, but the little hill there really doesn't help. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be fine. I'm always ready, Brooklyn Fish. The castle is on a rise, so am I working on the landscape? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm working on it. Uh, we're going to have to lower the road level. Welcome, pearlescent moon. Howdy, pearlescent moon raiders. I hear there's a potato party in the house. Welcome to the Hermitcraft server. My name is Joe Hills. I'm broadcasting live from Nashville, Tennessee. My friends, Cub Fan and Good Times with Scar are online as well. Tango Cam and Iscal are AFK. And I hope you had a wonderful time hanging out with pearlescent moon one of our most recent additions to the Hermitcraft server, you know, and uh, you, you might think like, wow, you guys must be pretty smart to add somebody as brilliant as Pearl to the server. Well, you know what? You don't have to be brilliant to notice that Pearl is great. Although we are incredibly lucky she said yes, because yeah, she has been a real joy to have. Y'all were just having fun watching MCC. Awesome. I hope y'all had a wonderful match. We are over here. Hey, Pearl is actually listening. She says, aw, Joe. I can't do it th like the accent. It'd be more like, that's not a knife. This is a knife. But it'd be more like, aw, Joe. No, that's not it at all. I can't, I can't do an Australian accent. Like, the closest I could get is kind of like Flight of the Concords when they say, like, somebody might be dead. Instead of saying dead, they say did. Like, he maybe did. Well, maybe he did and maybe he didn't, but yeah, I don't know. Sorry for mangling your accent. You're so much better at it than me, Pearl, but you know what? You're better at a lot of things than me. But that's what makes Hermitcraft great is that we have people that are talented in different ways, kind of helping each other, doing fun, creative, collaborative stuff. And so right now, if y'all have not seen what Zombie Cleo and I have been working on this season, Zombie Cleo and I got it in our heads to build a castle and its surrounding village. So right now we are doing a lot of terraforming and a lot of wall building. Zombie Cleo earlier on her stream started putting in where the different courtyard platforms are. And I have started now putting in the outer walls surrounding the castle. Cleo came up with this kind of build palette here where we transition from deep slate to mushroom, birch, sandstone, sand. Right now, you're going to be looking at this and going, Joe, this looks like really super hyper level. Like, the point of having an interesting build palette is to like, I don't know, man, mix it up. And what we are doing, though, is very iterative. So, like, there's going to be places where we're going to come in later and actually, like, punch this up along these lines. But for right now, just trying to get the rough shape and the the general layout in. Uh, social, I know, I know the Concords are from New Zealand. That's what I'm saying is the closest I can approximate an Australian accent is, like, still an entirely separate island. That was me insulting myself for being bad at this, not me trying to lump Australians in with New Zealanders. But, yeah. This is also the castle that Cleo and I are building in Papercraft. So I've got a model of it that Cleo and I have been working on. We've been doing one stream a week where we build Papercraft models of the structure. And so that has been really fun because Cleo and I also had to get different models. She bought the last one of the type of model um, that she wanted. Yeah, so the granite here marks where the structures are. And then these different platforms are the different kind of levels of courtyard. So, like, for example, dang it, that is not a good ender pearl one. So this is the courtyard here. This little indentation that we're looking at is the indentation around this chapel part right there. 
And let me get my hand, wrong hand, let me get my other hand out of the way so you can kind of see that, right? Um, and so the idea is that, yeah, that chapel on this level is meeting this courtyard, but when we turn it this way, you can see that the wall here actually comes down way past the courtyard here. So the different buildings are going to be meeting different courtyards at different heights. And so right now, uh, Cleo and I are just trying to get things ready so that tomorrow we can work on the actual, um, what do you call it, castle buildings, like the, the architecture of the buildings. So getting these rough walls in, testing the build palette, all that is kind of the uh, task du jour. Or I don't, you know, I don't know what the, the word is. That's today, the task of the day. I don't know what the task of the night is in French. If anybody here speaks French and wants to show off how much better they are at French than me, what is, what is the task of the evening? Because the sun was just setting. Is, is the word for French something like knocked? Because, like, that's a pretty traditional Latin. De la nuit. Nuit. That, that sounds like the guy from Peralta from, um, not True Detective, but the other one, uh, saying nice or de la nuit. Gotcha. Of the evening would be de sur. Okay. You're not supposed to say the T. It's silent. Of the nuit. De la nuit. Or Denui, I guess. Okay, we'll, we'll work that out later. Either way, we have a rough idea of how this is supposed to go. Where this gets kind of weird, though, is that these walls are actually wrapped around the courtyard in such a way that they need to be longer than the thing they're wrapped around. And they need to be then diagonally cut to slope up slightly that way as well so we've got like a few things going on here where i'm like finding problems as i go with this whole thing oh that's that might be why these cut over so soon too okay either way we're gonna just like i said this is gonna be a very um iterative build we're gonna sort out the problems that we encounter as we encounter them and so basically we're gonna have two slopes we're gonna have the slope um, kind of north south slope as it comes down from there outward but then we're gonna have an east west slope that's gonna be more subtle I thought noct like N O C T was Latin. I don't know. I thought because noctus is Latin, right? Apparently, it's also German, but I was thinking Latin. Okay. Either way, we're gonna om nom nom on some delicious steak. There we go. Delicious. And this part of the building is also particularly difficult here because of the way that the uh, walls meet. I haven't figured out this diagonal entirely. We're probably going to do that last, but what part of the build am I working on? I am working on the outer castle walls. We have started laying out the different platforms in there for the different courtyards. It is coming along pretty smoothly. Okay, so where this gets weird, I think we need to actually move this in here like so, and then... Wait, no, because it needs to be four long. But if it's, hold on, if it's four long, come in. Oh, I didn't move this one over. That's why. Okay, so would this work so then this needs to go up 
like here until we hit this point. And then it needs... Okay. So let's get our cut sandstone out. Do we have cut sandstone? We're going to make some. We're going to work backwards until we have solved this problem. Okay. So. Over one and out one. From here, we need to have this. Okay. So, like, we need to have this wall have the ability to come out a little bit. Having sand in the palette is also really not helping with the iteration. I'm going to say, I feel like we're learning something from that. Um, okay, so this is one, two, three, four. And that's going to come up like that. I guess technically the wall doesn't need to go out diagonally like this. We could just have the wall come down as is. Yeah, I've watched ice hockey. I live in Nashville. We have ice hockey in Nashville. It's it's a big deal. Um Okay. So Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've been to probably dozens of hockey games in person. I don't really watch it on TV. There's a lot of sports that I, I enjoy being there, but if I'm at home, I would rather be doing something else. And like also with hockey, it's hard to see the puck on the TV. Like, unless you have, like, a really good TV, which I don't. Um, I might have screwed up the build palette there also. Okay, so let's see. So if we're doing this right, I think maybe the way it works is we have it we have it start at only three wide and then it goes to four wide part way down, and that's where we get our slope from. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's that's exactly how it's got to work. That's the only way it can work. It's inevitable. So, oops, did not mean to go that high with these. Okay, get our cut sand, our smooth sandstone here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's, let's try going over here and taking a look at this. Yeah. So basically if if those start three wide and then halfway down they go to four wide but in such a way that cuts the whole thing or it moves the whole thing over three. Yeah, that's right. They can't go to Okay, I think I'm gonna need to take some time to wrap my head around this, and it is getting to be time for me to make my daughter dinner. So I am going to head over here to our model of the Drawn and Cordier Tavern. This is part of our castle village. We're building a castle, but we're also building a surrounding village with like a smithy, some homes, a tavern. You can come in here to the tavern as a place to rest or as a place to perform. Let's get up here on stage and see who we're about to introduce y'all to twitch.tv slash directory slash following 
Bum, 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 bum. Well, well, well. It looks like our good friend, CubFan135, is doing some desert detailing over there on the same server as us. So, why don't we go ahead and read him. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to his channel for the YouTube viewers as well, since we can't raid directly via YouTube. And uh, when you get there, say hi to y'all. Joe Hill's right here. Thank you so much to everybody for joining us. Thank you to everybody who tipped. Thank you to Pearl for the raid and Raiders for sticking around. Hope y'all have a wonderful time with Cub. I'm going to go enjoy a wonderful dinner with my daughter. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Doo-doo-doo-doo.